The latest updates, my friends, have been brought to us this Monday, the 15th of April. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day, as it's already mid-April. Time flies, doesn't it? It's incredible how swiftly life moves. But most importantly, I hope all is well with you, and that you're happy. Let's keep our fists clenched tight for good luck, shall we? In this very hour, I present to you the freshest news because life isn't just darkness, but also light. Indeed, life is a mix of various emotions, both joyful and not so much. And in these recent days, one of the most significant pieces of news is that it seems that treatment administered to King Carlos is starting to show results. What a joyous revelation. Do you recall the cover of the American publication National Enquirer, which predicted that the king had no more than six months to live due to pancreatic cancer? It appears fate may have a different verdict. Let's hope all those were merely empty predictions. After all, the royal family certainly doesn't need any more sad news right now. It's a challenging period, but let's remember that even amidst the clouds, there are rays of sunshine. It's been a whole 19 years since Carlos and Camilla came together. Their anniversary is a special cause for celebration. Let's find out how they marked this day. Fresh news from the British media has just emerged, and we'll discuss it right here. But before we proceed, let's not forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button to support our work. Don't forget to ring the bell to receive notifications about every new video. It's all free and takes just a few seconds. Apologies for the lengthy preamble, but in life, there are always bright and dark sides. And today I want to share some good news. 19 years of love and happiness. That's what Carlos and Camilla are celebrating. Where are they marking this occasion? In seclusion, in their retreat, Balmoral Castle in Scotland. It's where they feel serene and undisturbed, spending these days together despite the battle with cancer that unites them. Ah, indeed, the latest reports suggest that the treatment he's receiving appears to be effective. It's been quite a few days and weeks of treatment, and it seems the procedures being implemented are starting to bear fruit. This is one of the major headlines. Let's recall the cover of the American magazine National Enquirer, which gave King Carlos no more than half a year. That was what the cover said. It proclaimed that the king had pancreatic cancer and that his condition was so dire that doctors gave him about six months. I hope that magazine is mistaken. I hope the doctors are mistaken. I hope everyone is mistaken because at this moment, the consequences of the king's departure are no better. And I say this in all seriousness. Almost all British media outlets emphasize this. It's a very tough moment. Despite the fact that the name is the same cancer, what King Carlos is experiencing and what Kate Middleton is experiencing have nothing in common. And let me tell you one of the main reasons why that is so. Firstly, because King Carlos is already quite old. Kate Middleton, unfortunately, is very young. And I don't mean anything by that. I just want to emphasize what some British media outlets are saying and I know this personally from relatives and friends who have experienced this disease. It's the same as saying a young person has great strength, and as they say, doctors can give him more medicines, more poison to overcome this cancer, this cursed cancer. It's also true that the cells of a young person multiply much faster. So we need to be very careful because what's happening with the prince, with King Carlos, is happening much more slowly. In the case of Kate Middleton, if there is no real control and real treatment, the cells will multiply much faster. So this is not the best time for either the king's departure or, unfortunately, for his demise. Of course, that's the last thing I can imagine, but this is not the best time, neither now nor in five or six months. Cancer treatment is a long-term affair. It's not a disease that will be cured in three, four, or five months. No, these are much longer treatments. So today I wanted to share with you both sadness and joy. 19 years of love for King Carlos, who, despite all the trials he's endured in these first months of 2024, is happy, content, and above all, eager to continue living. What better news than that? I'm interested in your opinion about the start of the year, about the first months for the crown. 
and a complex opinion about King Carlos as a person. What do you think? Does he seem like a nice man, a kind king, or not? Share your thoughts down in the comments, and we, as always, will continue to keep you informed. Have a great evening. Goodbye. I invite you to watch a few of our videos. Thank you very much.